Hey y'all, it's NCS07 here doing another collection video. So I made a video back a while back where I review, uh, where I showed off my collection of GameCube games, and and, and I and well, we're gonna do Wii games this time. I want to make this short because none of this is scripted, and this is gonna be long because I have way too many Wii games. I grew up with the Wii, so there's that. It was actually the first video game system I remember playing that really got me into video games. And I'll go into more detail on which specific games I played a lot when I was really young in this video since I grew up with the Wii. So, let's start this off with a real cloud pleaser, Animal Crossing City Folk. Honestly speaking, definitely not the best Animal Crossing ever. Lots of people like to say this game isn't the best because mainly because from what I know it just didn't add anything new compared to Wild World which is already on the DS but you know what I really like this game I like its visuals I think they look great on the Wii I think the music is really good and it's still Animal Crossing at the end of the day that's all that really matters um really cool game um I don't even know if the game's in here oh never mind game is in there yeah, pick it up if you haven't. If you like Animal Crossing. Next are four games in one, and the reason is because they are all Guitar Hero games. So I got Guitar Hero World Tour, uh, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, and Aerosmith, a dual pack. Then there's Guitar Hero Smash Hits. And then there is Guitar Hero Van Halen. Now, out of these four, well, five, since one of them is a dual pack, I played Guitar Hero World Tour. And Guitar Hero is a really fun game. Like, I totally would recommend playing it someday. Um, I'll move it over here for only. The game, like, yeah, yeah, like, there is the fact that the games aren't around anymore because Guitar Hero kind of got too oversaturated, it got, it had a lot, it, there was a lot, but seriously, play Guitar Hero someday, like, either get, like, a copy of one of the older games and a guitar accessory, or they do have our Guitar Hero in the arcade, so that's all, also a choice as well, but I played a lot of World Tour, um, really fun game, technically all Guitar Heroes are pretty much, are really good, so definitely give them a shot if you ever can. Next, we have a childhood game of mine. Well, technically, the first well, the first Kirby game I ever played, Kirby's Epic Yarn on the Wii. Kirby's Epic Yarn is the first Kirby game I ever got and ever like played. Um, it's weird to not think that I started the game series with this game. Um, and I remember when I was like maybe like I think it was like. Seven years old when this game uh, first released. I remember exactly how I got this game. I was in a Best Buy one time, and they had, and th back in the day, they had the Wii kiosks. I know they have them with the Switch now, but uh, they had a Wii kiosk at Best Buy, and I would say it was around the time the game released, and they had a demo of the. Doesn't sound bad. Green Bean Vine, or Big Bean Vine, or whatever that one stage is from the first world. And I played that stage. It was so cool. And I just begged my parents to get that game for me. And sure enough, they did. Um, and it's a great game. Like, it's one of, it's like one of my favorite Kirby games ever. Mainly just because of nostalgia. I grew up with this game. Um, but even so, really fun collect-a-thon kind of game. Lots of stuff to collect. Really, I don't have much more to say. Great Kirby game. For being a spin-off as well, they pulled it off very well. Next, we have another Kirby game. Kirby's Dream Collection on the Wii. Now, this one is actually a collection... Uh, I believe this is actually the ne the last Nintendo game released for the Wii. And I think it was in 2012. And it comes with six of the original Kirby games, Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy, Kirby's Adventure for the NES, Kirby's Dream Land 2 for the S for Game Boy, Kirby Superstar for the SNES, Kirby's Dream Land 3 for the SNES, and then Kirby 64 the Crystal Star for the Nintendo 64. They also have some of the challenge stages from Kirby's Return to Dream Land, so you kind of get a little taste of that game as well. And then you also have like a history thing. 
really solid collection. There's a lot to this, lots of value. Unfortunately, I lost the original box that this game came in. I don't have the box anymore. Um, and, I don't, and I don't even have the booklet or whatever it is. Because I know there's a booklet that comes with this game. Um, I don't know where that is. I think I have it somewhere in this house, but I don't know where, so... Yeah, but overall, really cool game. Uh, definitely give it a look-see. Uh, and then, the last Kirby game that I have, and the last Kirby game released for the Wii, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I love this game. This game was really fun to play with friends. Um, really, ju just overall, it's a really solid Kirby game. It has... A lot more stages than Star Allies ever had, and it's just, it's so good. I, I really would recommend this game. If you want some good multiplayer Kirby action that's actually decently long and decently fun, Return to Dreamland is for you. It's a phenomenal Kirby game, no doubt. So give this game a try. It is definitely worth your time. Now I'm through the first stack, and now the second stack, and to start that off with... The game that I believe came with my Wii, I don't remember because it was like when I was like three or four years old, Mario Kart Wii. Um, really fun Mario Kart game, probably my one of my favorites. I wouldn't necessarily say like it's the best game ever. Like The game definitely isn't as good as it could have been. The game's graphics, to be honest, is what makes the game not as good. It could have had better graphics compared to like even Double Dash had better like designs and whatnot but the game is excuse me really good it's a really solid mario kart game um it also came with the wii wheel and it was also bundled in with a lot of wii's and i believe that's how my family got the wii i believe they got a wii with the mario kart wii bundle and they came with like the wii wheels um really fun mario kart game i i grew up with this game the first mario kart i ever played Really solid game. Next we've got, oh boy, controversial one, Mario Party 9. Oh jeez. I only played this game a few times. Honestly, and I and this is where the Mario Party series really started to go down. Not that I really know much about the Mario Party games, considering I have only, out of all the Mario Parties, I've only played this one. And Super Mario Party. Those are the only two I know of playing. I think I played Mario Party 10 once at a, at a friend's house a long time ago. Um, but Mario Party 9, um, honestly, it isn't, it isn't terrible, but it's not the best Mario Party game. As it, as they screwed it up with the car mechanic. Um, but I think the mini games are alright. Um, just, if... You, I'd recommend Mario Party 8, even though I haven't played that one. I've heard that that one is a lot better, but uh, Mario Party 9, it exists. Next, we got a classic game that is really, really... Re I played with my friends a lot. Mario Sports Mix. Probably one of the hidden gems in the Wii library, in the library for the Wii. I like this game. This game is lots of fun. It's Really, it's one of the most underrated and un not talked about much, at least from what I've seen. And that sucks because this game is awesome. Me and my friends, Super Dude Three and Mad Dog Beast Eighteen, we would play this back in the day. We would play this game. It was just pandelirium. Volleyball, basketball, dodgeball, especially dodgeball and hockey, were all great. Really fun game. I would really recommend trying this game out. It's a really cool compilation Mario sports game. Really fun. I don't have much else to say. Um, next we got a bit of an oddball of a game. Namco Museum Mega Mix. Now, uh, this is another Namco Museum collection which has games like Pac-Man and whatnot. Uh, but this one focuses a lot more on the more obscure games. It does have games like Pac-Man, Rally X, Galaga, um, Dig Dug, and Mappy and whatnot, but they have like all these other games. Uh, I'll see if I can get them to show up in the camera properly. You can probably see them. It has a lot of the more obscure games in this collection. It doesn't have games like Miss Pac-Man. It has games like King and Balloon, Grobda, Dig Dug 2, uh, 
Pack and Cow and QDQ and Motos. Definitely the more obscure games, but it's definitely all it's all right. I wouldn't necessarily say it's that great. I think I got this game. I don't even remember when I got this game. This game isn't the best Namco Namco Museum ever. I know there's another one on the way called Namco Museum Remix that has even less games than this. So yeah, but honestly, the game's all right. I, there's definitely better collections out there, but. Always gotta have an oddball game. Next, we've got New Super Mario Brothers Wii. My very first New Super Mario Brothers title. I was about to say 2D Mario title, but my first and probably my favorite New Super Mario Brothers game, just because I grew up with this game. It's really fun. Um, the multiplayer is a bit chaotic. But I think the game is just lots of fun. Honestly, I don't have much to say. It was only the second, so... The series wasn't really getting super oversaturated yet. It wasn't getting too done to death yet. Um, and I still think it was fun. I think it's really fun. At, it's multiplayer. Really fun. But mo so many people own this game, I don't really have to make talk much about the game. It's just fun. And next we've got a... I think another hidden gem of a kind. Sort of. Pac-Man Party. Now, Pac-Man Party is basically the Mario Party that I play the most. Because, um, while I did have Mario Party Mario Party 9, um, I actually got Mario Party 9 much later in, in my life than I got Pac-Man Party. Because Pac-Man Party was the first, like, party, Mario Party-esque game that I played. And I played Pac-Man Party a lot more. I never really played a lot of Mario Party 9. I only played it like a few times and that was it. Excluding like the sometimes I played mini games. But Pac-Man Party, I played a lot of. I, I like the game. I don't think it's the best game ever. I want to do a review of this game someday because I think it would be a very interesting one. But Pac-Man Party, um, really, it has fun mini games. It looks nice. It has some good music. I mean, okay, I wouldn't say it has the best music ever, but it's alright. I will say that the actual party game part of the game is a little weird. It is a little hard to understand, but the mini games are what's fun. And it's a fun game. Not much else to say. And I, now we've got Pictionary for the Wii. Um... Honestly, I don't have a lot to say about this. I haven't played it that much. I've played it a few times with my fa with my family and my cousins. Um, and this is also one of the few games to actually require the you draw tablet. Okay, there it is. The you draw tablet. So, and I don't have it up here right now. Uh, basically, the we uh, basically the worst version of the Wii U gamepad. Um. Uh, but overall, Pictionary is Pictionary. It's a licensed game. What do you expect? I will say they did a good job at actually getting Pictionary on the Wii. Um, but it definitely isn't that great. Uh, the U-Draw tablet wasn't the best success. It's alright for what it is. And it's fine for a family party game, but yeah. Definitely is not the best thing ever. Now on to the next one. Okay, next we've got two games, um, which are basically go together. Uh, Pac-Man, uh, <laughs> oh my, Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection, and then Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. Basically, two collections of, um, pinball games, one of them from, like, Williams, so you got stuff like Pinbot, Taxi, Whirlwind, Funhouse, and whatnot, and then you got Gottlieb, which had some more of the obscure games and some more of the pachinko-like games, like you got your Black Holes, your Big Shots, your Ace Highs, and your Playboys from 1937. Yeah, the Gottlieb collection is definitely the worser version because the pinball, the Williams collection, definitely has a lot more. Um, top-notch pinball games, in my personal opinion. It has better games. The Gottlieb one just has so many weird games. It has a lot of pachinko-like games that aren't necess that are really old. Definitely do the Pinball Hall of Fame Williams Collection if you're planning on getting any of these. 
Um, but they're really fun. They're a cool, they're a cool game. Next we've got Super Mario Galaxy. This is the 3D platformer that I grew up with. I love this game. It's not my favorite 3D Mario game ever. It would be Odyssey. But this game probably takes a very close second. This game is so good. Uh, and I grew up with this game. It was, was a, like, I remember playing this game when I was, like, four years old. I, I, I was, like, four years old and I was, like, playing Galaxy. Uh, that's how much nostalgia I have with this game. And I, and I really want to beat this game someday. Galaxy is such a good game in the Mario series. It basically takes what 64 and Sunshine did and really made it better. The game is more linear, but it's so good going through space, using the launch stars to go through various planets. The bosses are great. There's actually a Mario character with actual backstory. Great game. I would recommend. I mean, if you don't have Mario Galaxy in your Wii collection, what's wrong with you? What legitimately is wrong with you? Get Mario Galaxy, play it. I really want to beat this game someday. All around a stellar Mario game. I got a little bit too hyped up off of that, I will say. And since we're on the topic of Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Honestly, I have not played this that much of this game. I bought this game like only like, I don't even know, like it was probably like seven years ago. I do not hold nearly as much nostalgic value for this game as I do with the original Galaxy. But Galaxy 2 is really solid as well because it focuses a lot more on the linearity and gameplay of Mario rather than a the story and epicness that was the first game. But Galaxy 2 is so good. It controls great. It looks really nice. The level design is great. Honestly, I Galaxy 2, you'll if you enjoy Galaxy 1, you're going to find enjoyment in Galaxy 2. Simply put. And this is another Mario game that I really want to beat someday. I don't know why I never have, but I will do it someday. Mark my words. I never will. <laughs> oh my. And next we've got... Oh, here we go. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. This is not the original. and it, Well, it is the original. Now, I actually have Banana Blitz HD, which I'll actually get right now. It's right over here. Um, I have both Banana Blitz, the original, and Banana Blitz HD. I prefer the original just a little more than the HD version. I love this game. This right here was the first video game that I remember playing. I was like four years old. I was four years, again, I was four years old. But this is the game I remember playing the most when I was like a toddler. I was so young. And that's why this game has a lot of nostalgic value for me. I know a lot of people say that this game isn't as good as the other Monkey Ball games. This game definitely was a decline of the quality of the Monkey Ball series. But Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz is a cool game. I honestly don't think it's that bad. But I definitely don't think... I definitely did go in a lot of bad directions. And I still do prefer Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2. Because I think the level design is much better. And I... Yeah, but overall, Banana Blitz is a fun game. It does use motion controls, but it's still fine. It's a fun time. Then, and then we've got Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll. Definitely not my favorite Monkey Ball game. I don't think it's terrible. Um, it's similar to that of Banana Blitz, where it has the motion controls, but Step and Roll is definitely a lot worse. Um... It's, it has worse music, more simple, more worse level design. It, it does actually use the Wii Balance Board, which is one thing. But overall, it's a meh game. Oh boy. And that's how the Monkey Ball series has been thus far. Hopefully, eventually, we can finally get another good Monkey Ball game soon. But, yeah. And then we've got Super Paper Mario. Now, this is another game that I... I actually have a much more interesting story with this game. I, my, my parents actually used to own this when I was really young, when I was like four years old. But they actually ended up selling the game along the line. So, uh, years ago, I eventually bought a this game at GameStop. Um, really, really cool Mar Paper Mario game. 
uh, definitely isn't like the first two. This one's more platforming than RPG, but it still has really cool characters, uh, cool music, and a really good story. Um, again, another game I want to beat someday that I probably never will. There are so many games I have that I've never beaten. I really need to get on that someday, but Super Paper Mario, if you like the first two, you are going to enjoy this game. Just as long as the RPG aspect wasn't the only thing that you liked from Paper Mario. But, overall, solid game. Next, we've got Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the first Smash Bros. I played. Really solid game. So many people love Melee and like to hate on this game. I don't know why. This game has so much content, and the main reason that I played this game was the adventure mode. Subspace Emissary is what sold me on this game. Subspace Emissary is so cool. All these Nintendo characters just, in this big story, it's so ambitious and so innovative and so cool. The best adventure mode that the Smash series has ever seen. Melee's adventure mode was only like 5 seconds long. And World of Light is nothing compared to this. Subspace Emissary is so cool. And even so, everything else in this game is just so much fun. The gameplay is definitely slowed down compared to Melee, but it's still fun. It does use a darker style, more realistic style, but the game still looks good. The game has a great soundtrack and so many other modes in the game. Honestly, a really solid Smash Brothers that people need to stop hating on. Next, we got a bit more of an odd game, WarioWare Smooth Moves. Now, this, I believe, is actually my most recent Wii game that I've picked up, and it was, f like, five years ago I bought this game. A uh, really interesting WarioWare game. Um, it uses the motion controls. It definitely does not control very good compared to, like, the other WarioWare games, such as, like, the ones on, like, WarioWare Incorporated on the Game Boy Advance and... WarioWare Touchdown, the DS, and whatnot. Definitely doesn't control that well, but it's still a really cool WarioWare game. I would definitely say give it a shot if you like WarioWare, but be ready for it to not function as well. This was released in 2006 or 2007 in North America, so I believe it was 2007. So it definitely, the motion controls are definitely primitive, so yeah. It's still a solid game, nonetheless. And now we're about to get into the games that really sold on the Wii. Wii Fit. Wii Fit, um, I, ha I do own a balance board, but I don't use it. Wii Fit is a really cool game. It w it's really cool. Honestly, I don't have much to say about this game. I do prefer um, Ring Fit Adventure more. I do prefer this game more, but still... Wii Fit is what started the, like, I, I think it seems what started fitness games, and really fun game. Um, it definitely isn't the most accurate thing ever when it comes to, like, measuring your heart rate or measuring your weight or anything like that. Like, any of that stuff isn't really good. It gives you a good workout, and it also has a good fun amount of games in there as well, like exercising games where you, like, move your head to, like, Block soccer balls and whatnot. A oh, really fun game. There's also Wii Fit Plus, but I don't own that one, unfortunately, which is just sad. But, whatever. Next, we got a more another oddball. Um, don't have as much to say on this one, considering I haven't really played it much. Wii Party. Honestly, I don't have much to say on this game. It's just another Mario Party-esque game. That's all I gotta say about that one. I barely played it. Next we've got We Play. We Play is a good one. Honestly, it was again, it was packaged packaged with a Wii remote for like fifty bucks and Wii remotes back in like two thousand six were were like forty bucks, so that made this game sell easily well. And it was also released really early in the Wii's life. Really cool game. Honestly, it's a cool game. It's kind of like another tech demo sort of game, like the game we'll be talking about next. But really fun. It uses a pointer functionality. It has like ver um some games in there. It has one which is kind of like Duck Hunt, where you like shoot stuff that's on the screen. You also got one that's kind of like combat on the Atari, and they also got like Pose Me and whatnot. But 
overall, we played, it's a cool game. If you've ever played it before, do you even exist? Because, honestly, this game sold so well. It's a really cool Wii game. I would really recommend giving it a shot. And, yeah. And now, we're going to really go to the magnum opus of the Wii. The main reason the Wii is so treasured. Wii Sports. And I don't even have the box for that game, and that makes me sad. One of the first games I played, and oh my god, Wii Sports is such a good game. It's... You can scoff all you want, but this game is so good. I really like this game. Seriously, the games are just so much fun. The motion controls were actually pretty good for 2006, and the game is just so replayable. It's just so much fun. Honestly, I don't have much to say about this game, considering so many people have played it. Great Wii game. Honestly, if you don't have this game as a part of your Wii collection, then it's literally incomplete. I don't know what to say. I have no words. This is, like, the one of the best, like, the most important games of all time, as it revolutionized sports. And since we're on the topic of that, why don't we take a look at its sequel, I guess you could call it, Wii Sports Resort, that I, and I prefer the sequel more. I prefer Resort more, because this game has so much more to it. It brought back um, golf and bowling from... The original, which I think were definitely the two that were the most necessary. Like, bowling was a lot of fun and golf was a lot of fun. But it added so many cool things to this game. It had, like, sword play, which is really fun. You were trying to duel and, like, trying to get the other person off of the pedestal or whatever it is. Like, the field or whatever it is. Um, they also have, like, biking, uh, power surfing, whatever it is. And probably one of the best things ever... Being able to drive an airplane over an open world island. One of the cool, really cool Wii Sports games. So much to this game. Really fun. But, and again, this game also sold pretty well too. Really, really fun game. Can't really express it enough. Next, we've got another bit of an odd game. Wipeout 3. I, I, I this is an interesting game. Um... Honestly speaking, there isn't really a lot for me to say about this game. This is a game, it's kind of like a game, it's like wipe out the game where you're trying to, like, get to the end without, like, getting hit by the obstacles and, like, not falling in the water or the mud or whatever it is, uh, with, like, those big red things you gotta jump over. Um, really cool game. It's definitely nowhere near as hard as actual wipe out in real life. I mean, that's way harder, but really fun game. It's, it's fun. Don't have much to say on it. It is a licensed game, so there is that, and it's from Activision, so, yeah, but still, really solid game. Next, we got another U-Draw game, U-Draw Studio. Alright, that's it. Literally haven't played it at all, right, from what I know. And another game I haven't played at all, and probably in the last Wii game I have in my collection, and a weird game to end this off on, you don't know Jack, and I haven't even played this game either. It's either it's irrelevant trivia party game. I have absolutely no idea what kind of game this is. I don't know. I know my parents played it from time to time. I don't even know. So I'll just leave it at that. And that is my Wii collection. Oh my. It's a big collection. I grew up with the Wii for most of my life. It was the first video game system I I really remember playing vi vividly. I I mean I had an original X. My fan parents had an original Xbox, but the Wii is what really got me into gaming. One of the most important systems ever. So that pretty much covers it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more collection videos. I'll definitely work on those. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care.